So Andreas Vesalius was born 500 years ago, and yet his impact on our notion of this vessel that we carry with us through our life um, completely transformed who we are and how we explore what that means in very substantive, in truly hands-on palpable terms. What I like to tell the medical students is no matter what aspect of medicine you go into, that you'll eventually go into, you're doing anatomy all the time. Everything that is done in physical diagnosis, the evaluation of the surface of the body, is in order to understand what's going on in the structures that are concealed by the skin. Whether you're delivering a baby, if you're injecting an anesthetic, obviously if you're doing surgery, if you're reading a CAT scan, um, virtually any Anything hands-on that you're doing with a patient, you're doing some form of anatomy. So, I mean, our feeling in our course is that anatomy is the absolute bedrock of medical education. The title page that we have right here in this 1543 beautiful edition of the Fabrica um, shows our anatomist, Andreas Vesalius, doing something absolutely radical and transformative. Um, in contrast to the traditional dissection scene, where the lector, the professor anatomist, would sit on the throne in the anatomy theater, you have Vesalius stepping down from the throne and going to the body and doing the dissection himself. And the other thing that's really remarkable about this dissection scene is that um, next to him on uh, a small um, table are ink and a quill. So he is writing the authorized anatomical text as he is dissecting the body. That is the definition of modern empirical an anatomy and it, it transforms anatomical science entirely. You know, I would say we're really following in the tradition of Vesalius here in terms of, you know, Vesalius really pioneered direct observation of the human body um, instead of relying on um, previous work of Galen and others that went back over a thousand years prior to that. And so we very much in our course um, stress direct observation of the cadaver for our medical students. We feel that there's no other way to really understand the three-dimensional anatomy of the human body without the, the human cadaver there. And really that was uh, all pioneered by Vesalius. I would say Vesalius' uh, legacy is, is alive and well, and that we, um, we don't do it in exactly the same way. We have some additional findings, but uh, the way in which we do things really dates to that fundamentally important approach of getting down, touching the human body, exposing the structures and describing them.